5 p.m. online worship service. My name is April Carido, and I'm one of your campus missionaries here in Victory Quezon Avenue. And together with me is... My name is BJ, and I am one of the leaders here in Victory Quezon Avenue. Welcome once again to our 5 p.m. worship service. Yes, at saka dahil start na ng 5 p.m. online worship service natin, why not itag din nyo yung mga friends niyo, yung mga family members niyo, and also share this live stream on your Facebook account. Para naman, di ba, mas marami pang maka-join sa ating worship, to worship service today. Tama yan, April. Palaguin po natin ang 5 p.m. special family natin dito. Yes, that's right. And speaking of family, April, no? Kasi as a church, we really value uh, a family. At the same time, we value in training the next generation. Kaya nga, please save the date. Mark yes. this on your calendar. May bago tayo. Correct. May bagong mangyayari. And that will be on February 6. Our Kids Church Online, which is, alam naman natin, we have it at 3 p.m. May bagong schedule na. Yes. Dahil nga, we are growing and maraming mga kabataan ngayon or mga young generation, di ba? Nag-overflow na kasi yung 3 p.m. service natin eh. That's why we have a new schedule coming February 6. We will have our 10 a.m. Kids Church Online. Grabe. Ang ganda niya April, di ba? Kung hindi kaya schedule sa hapon, then mas maaga, mas maganda. Yes, that's right. Sali sobrang, na po kayo. Sobrang puno ba ng energy yung mga bagets <laughs> oh, ng time na yun? No? Tama. lang. Atend na tayo sa Kids Church. And yes. for you to sign up, please wait uh, at our Facebook page because magpo-post po kami doon ng link para maisali yes. po ninyo yung mga anak nyo. Mag-register lang kayo dyan kung may mga pamangkin kayo, mga anak ninyo, or sino mga kamag-anak ninyo, or kapit-bahay ninyo, invite nyo na sa ating Kids Online, uh, Kids Church Online yes. Service. Kaka-exciting po ito kasi even in pandemic talaga hindi na pipigilan, di ba? Correct. We will continue to partner with you and disciple. The next, next generation. generation. Yes, so we're all excited, no? Kuya Bet, Kuya Bet. Okay, no, Kuya Bet. We are all excited to jump start or to uh, start our worship service. But first, yes, and as we start our worship service for today, let's prepare our hearts and our mind, and let's come humbly to the presence of our Lord and our Savior. Why don't you join me in prayer, Lord? Thank you. For this wonderful day that you've given us. Thank you, Lord God, for this new life that we are able to enjoy uh, and to experience your goodness and your faithfulness in our lives. And Father, as we worship you, as we listen to your word, as we sing songs to magnify and to praise your name, Lord, I pray, may you set our hearts there, God. May you set our hearts to always seek you and to be sensitive, Lord, to your leading. Let your Holy Spirit guide each one of us. Lord, more than the words that we'll be hearing today, I pray that may you reveal yourself to us, Lord. May we encounter you in a different way and let your word minister to us and speak life to each one of us, Father. Thank you. We love you, Lord. This I ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's church, come on. Let's worship God. For the grace that is overflowing me, for your, for your mercies, mercies are new every morning. morning. You worship, you worship you, God. God. You worship, you worship you, Lord. Come on, let's sing this again. This is the day.
Filling our souls with living waters You light in the night with holy fire You're turning dead into doorways This is the day of the beginnings The old is past
to bring But a broken and contrite heart you will not despise Ever I'll burn for you There's nothing I'm holding on to is in your head strength, breathe new hope. Let your light break through, shaken no more. I see only you, all shadows are lost. declaration today, Father, that all things are possible in your name. Lord, today, if uh, my fellow Christians or our brethren, Lord God, is facing uh, challenges in their lives, Lord God, I pray that they will be reminded that in your name, all things are possible, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that um, you are the one who will secure us, Lord God, that we will always rely on your grace, Lord God, that you are extending to every one of us, Lord. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, again, welcome to our 5 p.m. online worship service. My name is April Carido, and I'm one of your campus missionaries here in Victory Quezon Avenue. So again and again, why don't you tag your friends or family members and share this live stream for us para naman makajoin sila sa ating service today. So for our tithes and offering, let me read this verse to you found in Matthew 10. Uh, verses 7 to 8. It says here, As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. This instruction of Jesus was one of the uh, many that he gave to his disciples to proclaim the good news. And Jesus told them to heal the sick, Raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, and drive out demons. 
And right after that church, he reminded them that they were given freely the gospel and spiritual gifts. And so, it is our obligation or it is their obligation to do the same to others. And Jesus reminded them that they will live from generosity, from the generosity of those who will accept them and the message of the gospel. This means that to propagate the gospel, somebody has to proclaim it. And someone has to support this proclamation by, this, by their generosity. And as we give today, may the kingdom of God continually expand through the gospel proclamation as we gener generously participate through the giving of our tithes and offering. Let's pray. Lord, thank you God for today, Lord. Thank you God for this opportunity, Lord God, to hear the good news, Lord God, to receive your gospel. Thank you, God, for your grace. And Lord, as we give our tithes and offering, may we be reminded that it is our uh, act of worship, Lord God. It's, it is not just our obligation as a Christian, Lord, to give our tithes and offering so that the gospel will or the kingdom of God will advance, Lord God. But Lord, may we be reminded that it is our part. It is you asking us to take part, to advance your give, to advance your give, your kingdom by giving our tithes and offering. And Lord, I pray to everyone that is watching right now, Lord God, we are declaring financial breakthrough, Lord God, in each of the families present here, Lord God, in, uh, in our worship service. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So you know what, church? Our center is open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. to receive your tithes and offering every Saturday and Sunday. However, to make easy and safe, for everyone, we are encouraging you to give online via direct deposit and the details are being flashed on your screen, on your screen so you may scan the QR code so gcash po natin or you may visit victory.org.ph slash give if you want to give to missions, to every nations, uh, to every nation campus, real life and th these are easily available online. So that's all church, God bless you as you give. Okay. <laughs> Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Welcome po again to our 5 p.m. online worship service. You know what? Thank you, April, for exhorting us in in giving. Uh, as we all know po, no? Uh, uh, kung kilala niyo po si April, she was reached out during while she was still in college in STI or Tigas Extension. And today, she's one of our campus missionaries. And we believe that many more campus missionaries and students will be saved and be raised here in our church. That's why we have hope that we'll have a better future for our church and also for our nation. So I believe that God is doing amazing things in our midst. Uh, I want to call back again our campus missionary, April, as, we, as she shared with us uh, some updates about what God is doing in the midst of young people. April, kamusta? Yes, thank you, Pastor Noel, for... Ay, wala pa pala. All right, thank you, Pastor Noel, for such a wonderful introduction. Naks, talaga naman. So, yes, ayan, si Kuya Noel po ang isa sa mga nag, talagang nag-push sa akin para magtuloy po dito sa ating campus ministry. And you know, Boy, as... Lord, no? Real talagang buhay si Lord. Oo, oh, oh, grabe po talaga. Napakadami po namin pinagdaanan ni Pastor Noel. <laughs> isa sa sakit ng ulo, hindi, joke lang. So anyways, like what Pastor Noel said earlier, earlier, as a church, we are called to reach the future leaders of our society. This is, this is why we endeavor to do whatever it takes to reach the campuses, disciple students, and empower them to fulfill God's calling in their lives. Malaki po tong movement natin ng Every Nation Campus dito sa Pilipinas. So that's why we invite you to watch this update to see how uh, more of how God moved in the campus ministry. So let's watch this video. Even when the campuses remained closed in 2021, doors of the gospel continually opened in our midst. 
Here are the highlights of God's power at work in the lives of our students. Through technology, we held outreach events and inspired many students to share the gospel beyond physical limitations. These events were joint efforts between schools, campus missionaries, and students themselves. Last August 2021, we gathered students across the nation to worship, pray, and encourage one another to pursue God's calling and purpose for their lives. It's inspiring to see next generation leaders rise to the challenge and lead fellow students to the faith. Over 900 students were baptized in water last year alone. We've seen homes and families encounter Jesus together. We've also seen student leaders serve the community in a time of great need. While our world is recovering from a crisis, the next generation is continually being used by God, empowered by His Spirit to be His hands and feet. As schools and universities reopen, we are excited to bring catalytic change to expand our reach in every campus. Thank you for empowering our next generation to rise above its challenge. Your partnership inspires their faith and fuels their passion to change the campus and change the world. Grabe Pastor Well, grab, ang dami pong nangyari ng 2021 and thank God that we were able to reach out the students even online. And we stop at nothing because we believe that we have an unique opportunity to train and shape the future leaders of our nation. That's why here in ENC Quezon Avenue, we have given the chance to cater to the elementary level with the help wow. of, of our Kids Church Ministry in Child's Future Guided Academy, headed by Billy Bukayu. Ayan, gusto niya pong ma, ano eh, ma, maisingit yun eh. And not just that, we also reach out to the new campuses in ENC Anonas area and help not just the students, but even the educators as well through our teachers' retreat conducted in different campuses. Ayan, makikita po natin dyan sa, sa slides natin. And also, yun po yung first ever on-site youth service natin na nangyari, nangyari last December. And Thanks we are God. looking forward na talaga magsama-sama na ulit kaming mga mga students po dito sa atin sa center natin. So, mga kapatid, if you have a teenager, you have a college student in your household, or meron kayo kahit hindi dun sa ka ka campus na nire-reach out ng ating church, no? But you have someone with you na you feel like you need to connect to our Every Nation campus. You know, as a community of God's people, we are uh, going to raise the next generation. Yeah, sinabi po ni April, it takes a village to raise a child. So, can I just pray for you, April, and our campus ministry as we start, as before we begin with our message. So, Lord, we lift up to you every young person, Lord God, whom we've encountered, Lord, in the past, Lord, and whom about the, we are about to encounter, Lord, this year. We claim, Lord God, transformed life, lives by the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. will take place, Lord, as we prayerfully and, Lord God, uh, forcefully advance your kingdom, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that you're giving us the keys to the campus, to the hearts of young people, Lord God, so that they can be part of your community. Thank you, Lord God, that this church will be the, the home of every young person who's seeking you, Lord God. We honor you, Lord. We bless, Lord God, every missionary, Lord God, who are toiling, laboring, Lord God, for the young people today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, April. Mabuhay ka. Thank By you, the Pastor way, mga kapatid, if you are partnering or yet to partner a uh, 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 campus missionary here in our church, no, you, you have a blessing from the Lord. You don't know where to give or to put. Lord, para saan tong extra blessing na to? You know what? You, you can be a channel of blessing to the young people through our campus missionaries by partnering with them and supporting them. You can message them, okay? Uh, or you can look at, uh, you can keep in touch with us and we can connect you to our campus missionaries. So as we start off with our series, Abide, we are on the third week of our installment of our series. Uh, I want to greet some of the people that na are here. Thank you for joining us this afternoon and we are looking forward na magkita-kita po tayo on-site soon, no? So, by the way, 
do, ano Carlo, malakas ba? Okay ba 'yung sound natin? <laughs> Carlo, comment ka naman kung okay 'yung sound natin diyan. <laughs> Binabati ko po si ang ating Days, welcome Days. Magandang hapon sa iyo, Days. Jason, ang buti ang 'yon, ang soon to be. Okay, ang boyfriend po ni April. Yana Vega, magandang hapon, Oma. Welcome at Eva, welcome po, no? Good afternoon. I see some new names here. Jernor Laguera si Sidro. Kamag-anak mo ba si Kapatid mo ba si Pastor Jero? Jero parang na parang Anyway, Tita Nori, magandang hapon po ang nanay po ni April, uh, Carido family, Abelia family. Okay, Alimon family, welcome. Hamor family, to those of us who are extended replay family, welcome po no. Tanya, magandang hapon sa iyo no. Uh, sa mga gusto pong bumili ng mga seafood, seafood. Okay, si Tanya po ang ating fresh from the bench na mga seafoods, okay? Saison, Janet RA, magandang hapon. Okay, Kai Dij Sapphire, magandang hapon sa iyo. Good afternoon. Maloner. Okay? Magandang hapon sa iyo, Maloner. So, kung hindi ko man po magbati yung pangalan ninyo, no? Uh, baka po sa replay, pwede ko po kayo ulit mabati. Na no, biro lang po. Uh, because we're looking forward po na magkikita-kita tayo soon. And as we kick off this uh, third installment of our series, Abide, we're going to talk about God's Word as the source of our nourishment. The God's Word that feeds us. Okay? Sino po sa inyo dito? Okay lang po ba? Mag-quick chat, kon- konting conversation po tayo, no? Ano po yung mga bagay na namiss nyo? Pre-pande, I'm sure, natanong ko na to before, but uh, gusto ko lang po ulit itanong kasi kung may gusto kong i-share sa atin, eh, na namiss ko talaga ngayong pre-pandemic. Ano yung mga bagay na namiss mong gawin? Pre-pandemic. Okay? Can you comment? Okay? Sa comment section po natin. Ako po, namiss ko po kumain sa abang naghintay po ako ng comment. Namiss ko pong kumain sa buffet. Okay? Namiss ko pong kumain sa sa Vikings, yan, sa sa Bogodjin, yung mga meron po tayong mga strategy dyan para makarami. Eh. Talagang hindi ka kakain ng kanin. Namiss ko po yan. So, In fact, meron pa po kaming voucher na hindi namin nagagalaw, no? Kasi nga, nag-pandemic. So, uh, yan, watching movies sa movie TV. Uh, I think pwede na, no? Pero limited access, so yung mga nakapag no way home dyan. Okay, kaway kaway. Yung mga tumambay sa Starbucks, sabi ni Days. Okay, tumambay sa Starbucks Days. Namiss ka namin, ha? Okay, business trip overseas. So, Mao, pwede bang patago dyan sa ano? Magkape sa church. <laughs> Tama, mag- Loner, no? Meron tayong kape before. Okay, na-miss ko nang walang mask. Oo nga, no? Na, pero alam nyo, talagang ang daming mga nakatipid sa makeup ngayon na kasi mga babae, ang minimakeup pa lang yung pang taas, no? Pagkatapos ng service, lalamon sa ito. <laughs> gutom na gutom, RA, ha? talagang lalamon, ha? Traveling, sabi ni Yana. O, oh, yung across the country, no? Na-travel, no? Sarado. Kahit na dito sa atin, uh, maayos na. para probably sa gusto natin mundan hindi pa actually minsan vice versa no maayos na sa iba sa atin hindi pa okay yung kasama makasama yung makayan yan po makasama yung relatives every december we have our reunion pero hindi po namin nagawa dahil nga meron pong pandemic okay sana all may overseas okay may na miss ba ako traveling nikon oh carlo maganda ka na okay <laughs> Ganda ka na, Carlo. Okay. Kung ano yan. Marathon! Grabe si Rem, oh. Marathon daw. Kaya pala hindi to tumataba si Rem, ha. So anyway, uh, because we miss buffet, uh, as we present, as we, as we share, as I share this message to all of us this afternoon, there are actually, I found out, realization ko lang po to, no? Uh, there are three types of people who always go to a buffet, okay? Yan, Macau Imperial, tabi ng church. <laughs> So, tatlong klase po ng tao no, ang meron sa isang buffet na restaurant. So, number one, of course, the given po yung mga consumers. Ito po yung talagang ano, bitbit ng pamilya. No? Walang binayaran. O kaya bitbit ng, kamag- ng kaibigan. No? Talagang birthday niya, libre siya. Tapos lahat kayo magbabayad for him. Okay, kayo babayaran yung sarili niyo. Tapos siya, libre kasi birthday niya. And Another one, bukod sa consumers, meron po tayo yung mga kaibigan na kung kayo po ito, yun na lang po i-comment yung sarili nyo. No? Yung, yung researcher na tinatawag, ito yung mga inaalam nila kung paano niluluto yun. Tapos ito rin yung mga tao na medyo picky eater. O ayaw ka dyan, kasi medyo matabang yung ano, kaldereta nila. Parang gusto ko. Ayaw muna ng Filipino, Filipino dish. Gusto ko muna medyo maging mag-Western or Indian. Diba? So parang picky eater. Okay? 
Meron naman uh, uh, yung another one is a witness. Okay? Witness talaga. Sina po kasi yung naka-encounter ng provision? Sila yung nakatanggap ng provision. Okay? Miss na daw nila yung bahay namin. <laughs> Akit kay dito, Maita. Okay? Yung mga another, the third type of person po is yung witness. Ito nga yung in my own terms po, no? Ito yung mga naka-encounter ng provision. Kaya yung pagkuha nila, yung talagang sulit kadang muya kasi nga, they know where the money came from. Yung pinaghirapan ko to, so talagang susulitin ko to. Okay, kung yung buffet, 10 to 2, 9.30, ando na, nakapila na, no? Because gusto niya sulitin. These are people who had an encounter and enjoying every moment of of uh, the lunch or the dish, no? So, as we talk about God's word today that feeds us, my prayer for all of us is not only that we are going to be researchers, hindi po tayo picky eaters when it comes to the word of God. Hindi po tayo consumer lang when it comes to God's word that you only attend on a Sunday ah, kasi may pastor doon na nagpipreach tapos nafe-feed ako doon, natututo ako ng word ni God. But we will, we ourselves, okay, we will be witnesses. We will encounter God, okay, in a very personal way that we can't help it but to enjoy every moment that we will be having with God's word. So as we read the scripture today found in John chapter 6, let's Uh, start this message with the word of prayer. Lord, we commit to you, Lord, the rest of the, the service. Thank you, Lord God, for you will open the hearts, Lord. You will transform our thoughts, our, our, our hearts, Lord, our actions, Lord God, that we will constantly feed on your word and we will be strengthened, Lord God, by your word. We honor you, Lord God. May every person who will hear your word today, Lord, be empowered, Lord God, to fulfill your will for them. We honor you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So ang perigopi po, ang coverage po ng scripture natin for today is in John chapter 6, verse 57 to 69. Okay, again, for the sake of time, I will be picking some of the verses and then I want to give you the, the chance to have a moment with God as you do your devotion. You can add this scripture, okay, para po i-review natin at basahin, no? John chapter 6, verse 57 to 69. Okay? Let's start with verse 57 to 58. Hinahilay ko po dito yung mga, some of the terms that we will be focusing on. In verse 57, it says here, As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the Father ate, that the Father ate, fathers ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. So Jesus, he, he actually fed the 5,000, not including men and the women. He, it only includes men, the 5,000. Uh, and people are following him. And they were discussing among themselves. No, no, talagang ito, talagang si Lord na, si, mong, ito na yung ano ni Lord. And Jesus explaining to them, to his disciples, about him being the bread. The source of food. No, now, dun sa mga scriptures po na kinover natin, sa scripture po na binasa natin, no, hinahilight ko po dyan, if you can, uh, parang di ko po. Namute ako. Sorry po, patawad po ano. Yan po yung beauty pag live tayo tas online na. <laughs> Doing a hybrid uh, service. So anyway, saan po ba ako naputol? So let's continue on. Yung mga words po na hinahilight ko dito is living uh, father I live feeds on me. Okay, we live. Uh, yung meaning po ng live dito sa verse 57 to 58, it means to be a living. You're not just going to survive. You're not just going to exist. Okay, for God, you're going to be among the living. So if you want life, if you want the word of God uh, to feed on the word of God, you should be looking first at the living father. Kung si living father po yung 
Father in heaven po natin, no? meron siyang Jesus, meron siyang Holy Spirit, and they were all in community. They're communing with each other. How much more us? How much more us? Kaya po yung live na minessage dito, ipig sabihin, okay, to be among the living. Hindi ka lang, kapatid, hindi ka lang nabuhay. Hindi ka lang surviving bilang Christian. O kasi kailangan ng pagkain. Nagtatay sa ngayon kasi gusto ko ng gusto ko ng ano, uh, i-honor si Lord para maitawid ko yung pamilya ko kasi si Lord yung provide. No, no, no. You will be with God. That's the first and foremost. Before we can do something for God, we have to be with God first. Okay? We can feed when we have good connection with God through His Word. So another one, yung word po dyan is to feed. Okay? To feed. Okay? Yung meaning po ng feed is crunching sound. Okay? Do we have that sa slides natin? Jack? Okay? To feed. Okay? Meaning ng crunching sound. Okay? Knowing yung ninanamnam mo or sinesavor mo. Ibig sabihin po, who, nung sinabi ni Jesus, whoever feeds on me, kung sino yung nanamnam, di ba yung crunching sound, nakakain na po ba kayo yung talagang, eto sikat, yung lapid chicharon, yung may kasamang taba ng baboy, pag Di ba pag yung inuyak, kinagat mo yon tapos narinig mo sa iba nang kumagat ng chicharon, di ba parang ikaw, nare-recall ka dun sa, dun sa lasa nung, nung chicharon. O kaya yung, yung manggang hilaw na sobrang lutong, di ba nung high school, paglabas mo ng swela, may mga manggang hilaw dun na merong bagoong, tapos lalagyan mo ng asin. No? Pagagat mo sobrang lutong, iba sa atin, naglalaway na. You remember the taste when you hear someone eating. Same goes with, with our devotion to God. As you read God's word and you hear it from others, okay, you remember that, ah, okay, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is he who takes refuge in Grabe, Lord, thank you. Sinisavor mo, kapatid. Okay, yung iba po, hindi makarelate, no? Kasi nagda-diet. Uh, hindi ko na po sasabihin si Jonathan yung nagda-diet. <laughs> Sorry, John. Mahal ka namin, bro. So, You're not only surviving, you're, you're feeding. That's what it means to feed on God's word. Okay? To recall when you read the scripture, you're just not going to read the word. You're going to remember. Okay? Sabi nga po sa Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, Meditate on it day and night that you may be prosperous and successful in everything you do. Amen? So, when you feed God's word, you don't only read during your devotion. Okay, inaalala mo yan, pagsakay mo sa jeep, nung pre-pandemic, pag, pag, ano, pag habang iba sa atin, nagda-drive, di ba? Naaalala mo yan, grabe Lord, di ba? If you will see some of the uh, posters, no, yung mga billboards, di ba? May mga sinasabi, talk to me God. Tapos iba, nag-quote ng scripture, di ba? I believe some of you have experienced the words that you've devoted yourself into that day. It's the same words you've read in one of the billboards. And you will be amazed how God will suffice you with the things that you need. Crunching sound. Another one, not only live, feed. Meron pa sinabi po dito, no? Yung uh, divine provision. Yung sa dulo po, no? Yung uh, whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. It means yung, yung bread po na sinasabi dyan, okay? yung, terms na, yung term na bread, it means divine pro provision, not only a food that you ate. Kasi po pag sinabing bread, ah, ito yung tinapay, yung kababayan to eh. Okay, yung iba sa atin, sponge bread. Okay, iba tasty, iba wheat bread. Pero yung original meaning po niya, it means divine provision. Jesus is referring to those, built to the Jews that they heard about their forefathers that God provided for them by giving them manna, bread, okay, to eat, to survive while they were still in their journey towards the promised land. So, divine provision. Ano ibig sabihin po ng bread when you eat the bread of life, the bread that comes from God? It means that divine provision, it will yield believers, you and I, if you believe in Jesus, okay, sin by sin, ibig sabihin moment by moment, God is going to lead you towards His preferred will. Okay? Not only that God will direct you through His Word, not only that you will realize how sinful you are and you, you will receive the salvation from the Lord, you will also feed and be directed as God directs you. you will, he will strengthen you and lead you towards His 
preferred will. So first point I want to share with us today is that living alongside with God includes remembering His words, which we are led towards His will for us. Living alongside with God includes remembering His words. You cannot say that you believe in God and you're walking alongside with Him and not remembering His word. At least one verse, kabisado mo kapatid. Okay? At least for God so loved the world. Psalm 23. Psalm, di ba, yung may, nagba, may sabi pang artista, no, di ba? Uy, I like that. For God so loved the world. Psalm 23. No, no. At least may isang verse ka. Yung iba po, ang kabisado na sa atin, di ba? Yung Jesus wept. Pastor, galing Jesus. It's okay. The point here is you're not just reading. You're not just uh, enjoying your presence with God. You are remembering His words. Because through His words, we can hear and understand and be strengthened to fulfill His promises for us. Let's continue. In verse 16, tawid po tayo sa uh, John chapter 5, verse 16. Sorry, John chapter 6, verse 16. When many of his disciples okay, heard it, they said, this is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? Okay? And many of these disciples actually got offended. You know, when you read God's word, kung hindi ka pa na offend sa word ni Lord, it means that you're yet, you are yet to unpack the word of God for you. Kasi, if you are not being offended, superficial pa lang yung understanding mo, hindi mo makikita yung magnitude ng kasalanan mo, yung pagkakamali mo. Okay? That's why when you are offended, it's okay. okay. But for us who are leading victory groups, you are doing one-to-one with someone. By the way, if you want to be connected to our victory groups, okay, one of our victory group leaders uh, can keep in touch with you. Actually, they, can, they are here chatting with us. Yan si Mao, si Carlo. Okay, uh, si Maita, si John. Okay, you can type connect na lang po para we can easily identify you or you can message this page and we can connect you with one of our victory groups. Or you can do one-to-one muna kung di ka comfortable sa big malaking group. One-to-one muna, okay lang din po yan. Okay, for, for those people who are ministering with us, victory group leaders, uh, you know, go one-to-one. My prayer is that you will not offend people Uh, based on our preference. But rather, let them be offended with the word, with God's word. The last thing we want to do is for them to be offended in God's word because of us. Because we're too legalistic, okay? Or maybe some of us, okay, nagpipreach tayo ng, ng sobrang passionate, ang bait mo sa church, pero pagdating sa bahay, hindi ka mautusan. Pagdating sa bahay, hindi ka buhay kristyano. Ang lutong mo magmura. Pagdating sa bahay, ang lakas mo uminom. Hindi, walang transformation at all. Walang grace, walang pag-ibig, walang pagmamahalan. There's no kindness, there's no fruit. There's no fruit of the Spirit. Okay? You're not explaining properly with your children ano yung nangyari, ba't ganito? You're living a double life. Okay? Yung iba sa atin, nagmumit para makasigaw. Guilty as charged. Okay? But my prayer for all of us is that as we encounter with God, we will be transformed. We will continue to grow. And we will, people will be offended in God's word, not because of us, but because they read the word and they understand the word through us. Amen. Verse, let's continue. Verse 61. 61 to 62. Sabi po dito, no? No, but Jesus, ito po maganda kay Jesus. Hindi ka pa nagsasalita, alam na. Kaya po si Lord, ang galing, eh. hindi pa tayo nagsasabi. Alam na natin. Okay? Sabi po dito, but Jesus knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this, said to them, do you take offense at this? Verse 62, then what if you were to see the Son of Man man ascending to where he was before? Okay? 
paano nga papakitaan ni Lord ng greater wonders if dun sa mga bagay na yun, hindi mo na malit go, offended ka na. As we grow and feed on God's word, we will see wonders that God has in store for us. Okay? You cannot, second point, you cannot live in the wonders of God if you don't feed on His words. Kung na-offend ka kay Lord, okay lang yan kapatid, keep on reading the word. The purpo- One of the purposes of God's word is to reveal our sinful nature, our status apart from God. That's why keep on reading it. Okay? Lord, hindi ko kaya ilit go to. to akin na lang to Lord kasi mahal ko siya. Okay? Hindi siya Christian. Pero Lord, mahal ko siya. Hindi mo malit go yung ungodly relationship mo. No? Let God give you the grace and the strength to do what He commanded you to do. To fulfill His will for you. That's why as you feed on God's word, we will encounter and experience wonders. Amen? So, hindi ka lang dito consumer, kapatid. Okay? Hindi ka lang consumer sa buffet. Hindi ka lang Christian attendee. Attend, attend ka lang. Nakikiyog. Lurker ka lang na nanonood ka ng ano, ng, nanonood ka ng, uh, ng mga nag-chat-chat. Ay, ito, kilala ko to Ganito to eh. Ah, oh, si Mau. Si Mau, ganito to eh. Ganito to eh. Diba? Nambabash ka lang. Underneath, diba? Under the radar ka lang. Talo po tayo dito kung ganito po tayong klaseng Kristiyano. No? Yung tatapon mo yung mga ayaw mo. No value on the word if already satisfied. Kaya po nga yung iba sa atin, no? ito po, sorry po, sa tatamaan, no? masakit po to pero kailangan nating marinig to. Atin ka lang kasi word na. Hindi ka mag-worship together with the believers. Christianity is not just meant for us to hear God's word. It's meant for us to enjoy and feed on His word and experience His wonders together with other people. Hindi ka lang atente dito. Hindi ka lang consumer, kapatid. Hindi ka lang dito researcher. Hindi ka lang picky eater dito, okay? Hindi ka lang nagkaroon ng knowledge about God's word. Nagkaroon ka ng, or, pero nagkaroon ka ng personal encounter sa kanya, pero hindi ka titigil doon. Kasi pag tumigil ka doon, ang buhay, kapatid. Puro theory head knowledge. Stagnant. Yung first, hindi mo kailangan experience muna para matuto ka. Yung theory mo, i-apply mo muna sa buhay mo kung tama o mali. Hindi, you can learn from God's word. Even God is also using His people. But for this context, kapatid, hindi ka lang researcher. Okay? You are a witness. You are a receiver of God's blessing. Okay? Because you have you have an encounter with God. There is value in the word. Babalik-balikan mo yung word ni Lord. Kasi naunawaan mo yung bigat ng pinagdaanan ni Jesus for you. For you and me. Hindi lang siya here saying it's personal for you. I wanna quote the great Billy Graham and he said this in one of his teachings. We must learn to let the word of God feed us and strengthen us in our faith in God, its author, Jesus Christ, its message, and the Holy Spirit, its teacher. Hindi po tayo by our good works. That's why we can feed on God's word. It's the work of the Trinity, the triune God, to reveal, to strengthen, and to empower us to fulfill His message, His will for all of us. We're about to end, mga kapatid, no? Let's continue on in verse 63 of chapter 6, John chapter 6. It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is no help at all. But the word that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. The word of God is our spiritual food. food. The words that are spoken by Jesus are spirit and life. We eat God's word as our spiritual nourishment. If you are just eating every Sunday 5 p.m. or bago ka matulog sa pinapakinggan mo tong message na to once a week, gutom ka, hanap ka ng... Ganun ka ba kumain, kapatid, kapag ka gutom ka? Yung once a week ka lang kumakain? Hindi naman, di ba? Every day. Iba nga sa atin, hindi lang po three times a day. Eh. 
five times, di ba? Yung iba nga sa atin, nag-aagahan pa lang, iniisip na yung hapunan eh. Right? Pilipino, ang dami nating pagkain. May breakfast kami, snack before lunch, may lunch kami, merienda, may dinner, may midnight snack. Pagka nabiting ka pa sa midnight snack, babangot ka na madaling araw, magpapansit ka ka pa, di ba? So, we eat food a lot. So, if the word of God is compared to food, to bread, it means that we have to feed our spirits. Our spiritual food is God's word. Kaya wag ka magtaka kapatid kung bakit hindi nagbabago yung buhay mo. Eh, gano'ng kadalas ka ba nagbabasa ng Bible? Gano'ng kadalas ka bang nag-spend time sa pagbabasa at pagme-meditate ng scripture? It's not it's not just enough to pray to God and believe him for greater things. It's also takes our effort to read and understand this word as we claim on his promises. We eat food every day. Okay? Huwag niyo lang kung kainin yung pagkain na nandito sa Sunday. Kasi po, I believe that God has something uh, far more personalized message in store for individuals, for us, individually. Yes, we worship God together. We hear God together. But there's also a value to our devotion alone, individual devotion. God's word does not only enlighten us about God but also nourishes our body so we can live for Him. So which type of a follower are you? Are you a consumer? Are you a, a researcher? Or are you a witness? Let's all be witnesses. Amen. As we end, verse 66, after this, many of His disciples turned back and no longer walked with him. These are consumers who turned their back against Jesus because they had their fill. They heard the, the message. They received the hard truth, a hard teaching. Then they went on their way. They left Jesus. Researcher, they were picky eaters. Offended by the word, they left. Let's all be like the disciples, the one who remained, the true disciples of Christ. Because in six, verse 6, 7, and 69 to 69 of John chapter 6, says here, So Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Here's my question to all of us today. Question of Jesus. Do you want to go away as well? Dami sa victory group yung nawala. Do you want to go away as well? Simon Peter answered him, Let us all be like Simon, like Peter. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know you are the Holy One of God. Brothers and sisters, the disciples had an encounter with Jesus, had a revelation of who Jesus is. If you had an encounter, don't let go of that encounter. Fight for your devotion to God. Fight for your relationship with God by reading His Word, by hearing and abiding in our Lord Jesus. Amen? So Lord, we lift up to you at every, every person, Lord, today. Lord, we cannot just like, tulad po nung sinabi ni His Oma, Lord, we don't want, Lord, na anumang pananampalataya na walang gawa, Lord, na ganong klaseng kristyano kami, God. Lord, we will be Christians, Lord, who will be strengthened because we feed on your word. Lord, because we, we knew, Lord God, the truth about your word, that it's only you can feed our souls our hungry souls, our dying souls, Lord. Lord, we will only revert, Lord God, to, to our old lives if we fail to eat and feed our souls with your word. Lord, I'm praying for passion, for more hunger. Lord God, to understand your word. 
I want to give us a moment and let God minister to us. Ask God for a greater hunger for His Word. Ask God for for the grace for you to forgive yourself because you failed and you knew that God already forgive has forgiven you but yet parang hirap kang i-forgive yung sarili mo. Hindi ka maka-move on. It compromises your devotion to God. Ask God for for hunger and confidence again to feed, to go back to His Word. So Lord, today, we celebrate Your goodness. I pray, Lord God, for greater passion, Lord. Greater desire, Lord God. Pray for strength and courage as we read Your Word. As we feed on Your Word, Lord God. Nothing shall stop us in fulfilling Your will for all of us. Because, because Lord God, we are being strengthened, Lord, through Your Word as we read, Lord. May we far be it from us, Lord God, to be picky eaters, Lord. Lalaktawan namin yung Leviticus kasi boring yan, puro loss yan. Hindi namin mabasahin yung Old Testament kasi uh, wala si Jesus dyan, Lord. Far be it from us, God. Lord, Your Word is complete. And you can speak through us in every page, every word of your word. And I pray, Lord God, we will grow in discipline, in stature, in maturity from your word. Give us the wisdom, Lord, Holy Spirit, as we feed you on your word. Thank you, God. We can face anything as we abide in you, as you strengthen us because we are feeding on your word because of your grace given to us to feed on you. We bless your name today. Before we end, brothers and sisters, we will be celebrating the communion. The very reason we can feed on God's word is because of the finished work of Christ. And I want to call on our one of our victory group leaders, Bethel John, Maridito, to exhort us in our communion. Please do prepare a piece of cracker, a glass of juice. Bethel John, Thank you, Pastor Well. Let's all be, uh, let's continue to be all in an attitude of worship. And tonight, we will be uh, partaking of our communion. Uh, we do this to commemorate, to remember what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for all of us 2,000 years ago. And as you gather your uh, communion elements, let me read to you 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Starting from verse 23. It says, For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when He was betrayed took bread, and when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's take the bread. Join me in prayer. Lord, as we take the bread, representing the body that was broken for us, we remember and celebrate your faithfulness in our life. Lord, you're the one who took the pain, Lord God, that excruciating pain, Lord, the day that you were crucified on the cross. Lord, thank you. Because of what you've done for all of us, Lord, we have received a life, a victorious life, an abundant life, and an eternal life. Father, it says in your word that by your stripes, we are healed. And we are claiming that by faith, Lord, that anything in us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are healed. Lord, thank you. We are forever grateful for the amazing thing, for the finished work that you've done. And we lift up everything to you as we partake of their bread. Let's eat the bread. Let's continue. Verse 
25, it says, In the same way also, He took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Let's take our cup. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for the blood that was shed on the cross. It says in your word, Lord God, that if there's no shed of the blood, there's, there will be no forgiveness of our sins. And you sacrifice, Lord God, for us to be saved from the, from our, from the power and the penalty of sin. And Lord, we are just blessed to receive and experience your great love for all of us. And Father, as we partake of the cup, Lord, help us to always be reminded of the gift that we receive from you. That through your blood, Lord God, we have been set free. And through you, Lord God, we are living a victorious life. So, Father, we commit this time to you, Lord. Thank you. This I ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's drink from the cup. Father, thank you that we're able to celebrate, we're able to remember the day wherein you've done an amazing thing in our life. And we are forever grateful to remember, and not just remember by ourselves, but we also share it to others for them to experience your goodness and faithfulness in our life. Thank you, Lord. And church, today... I hope you were encouraged and blessed with the word that was shared to us by Pastor Noel. Our The Word of God, the Bible, is not just a book that is meant for us to basahin lang natin during a leisure time or a book that we use to just to gain knowledge from it. But let's take it as our daily food as well. A nutrient that we need in our life to be stronger and to have a deeper relationship with God. I hope that as this year goes on, that will be our goal. The more than na palakasin natin yung physical nating pangakatawan, is also palakasin natin ang panaman, ay yung faith natin sa Panginoon. Amen? Let's pray. Lord, thank you for that reminder. Thank you for the word that feeds our spirit, Lord God. That day by day, Lord God, as we face the challenges in our life, your word sustain us. The promises that you have for us and I pray that as we continue to feed on it, to eat on it, to, do, to just digest and, and just have a result in us, Lord, an outcome of your word, our life will be a reflection of it, Panginoon. And Father, I pray, give us the grace to do so. Give us the grace, Father, to sustain, to continue, and live a life, Lord God, pleasing and honoring to you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. As we have received the Lord's blessing, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. This I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless everyone and continue to live a life that is victorious in Christ. Amen. See you all next Sunday.